All right, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Scott Jordan. I'm the business development manager for Schneider Electric. For those of you who are not aware of Schneider Electric, we're a global company, uh, commonly known in the U.S. as uh, Juno Lighting Group, Square D Company, APC, and Pelco. We're, as I said before, we're a global specialist in energy management, and the product that I'm here to talk about today is a particularly new product that we have that's targeting an energy management solution for the hospitality market. Uh, it's called our Cassia product offer, and what it is is for hotel owners and operators to drastically reduce the amount of energy that they use by controlling the amount of energy that's used in the guest room. Okay, just to give you a brief walkthrough of the product, the way it works is that we have a number of components here I'm going to demonstrate to you, but it really starts with the smart thermostat. This is a thermostat that is uh, programmable in nature. It allows the guests to enter the room, set the temperature to their comfort level, and then to really carry on the business that they do in a, in a, in a guest room as they normally would. In addition to that, what we also have is a, a lighting control switch that communicates wirelessly with the thermostat. This allows you to switch lights on or off in the space or even dim your lights if that's, if that's what the hotel operator desires. Two other components that are a little bit transparent to the, to the guest, but it's uh, very important to the operation of the system, is the PIR sensor. And what this device does is detects motion within the space, and then a door contact that's mounted on the entry doorway, and what it does is looking for transitions of the door opening and closing. Both the PIR and the door switch communicate wirelessly back to the thermostat. What it does is that as long as a guest is in the room, what we're able to do is determine that he is in the room by looking at motion within the space that the occupancy sensor is detecting and also whether the door has opened or closed. So as long as he's in the room, the thermostat's going to keep the temperature to his comfort level. As he leaves the room, what the we'll, sensor will do is pick up that no motion has occurred. It will also detect that a door contact transition has occurred. It's communicated this back with the thermostat. And the thermostat's going to then determine that the space hasn't been occupied for a certain preset of time. And it's going to allow now that space, uh, the temperature set point, to either go up or down, whether it's summer or winter, to a more energy efficient setting. And as long as the room's not occupied, that's the way the room is going to, going to stay. There out for you, are getting a lot of savings because a, a lot of business hotels, people are in in the morning, they take their showers, they leave, they don't come back in the space until six or eight o'clock at night. So think about how much savings you're getting by just raising your set point five degrees. Uh, the system then would respond back to when that guest entered the room again. He opens the door, door contact, sends a signal to the thermostat. Thermostat says, ah, something must be going on. He walks into his room, the, the occupancy sensor detects the motion. So he knows now that the guest is back in the room Hence, let's take that temperature back to where a comfortable level was that he had set it before. So, in a nutshell, that's the way the system operates. Some other unique features of the system are that not only does the thermostat receive wireless signals from the lighting switch, from the contact block, from the motion sensor, but it also sends this information back to a central server via the group coordinator so that we can track and profile how that system is operating in that particular room. Um, and, and from that, we're able to, over a weekly, a monthly, a yearly basis, look at the performance of that room and find out how efficient that room is in comparison to with other rooms in that particular hotel, either on that floor, on that side of the building, or comparing that room to even other, other hotels in that, in that area. Uh, the beauty of that, for our property operator is that he can determine from the reports then what are the most efficient rooms to rent at what time of the year. So if he has a north-south facing hotel, he might find that it's more efficient to rent out the north facing rooms in the summertime and there are likewise maybe the south facing rooms in the wintertime. But it's not a guesstimate, he has actual data now to work with. So that's the beauty of the system.